Well, a magical move now. Walt Disney World bringing back its annual pass, which were previously discontinued. These updated passes have some new benefits and are set to go on sale later this month. Yahoo Finance's Alexandra Canal has the details. Hey, Ali. Hi, Rochelle, and that's right. New sales of Disney's Incredi Pass, Sorcerer Pass, and Pirate Pass will resume and can be purchased online beginning April 20th, although the company did warn that quantity will be limited. Disney fans, they've been asking for this. Currently, the only annual pass available for purchase is the Florida resident-only Pixie Dust Pass, which costs $399. That's quite a steal if you're a Florida resident because these annual passes range in fees from from $749 annually to nearly $1,400, and that's excluding tax. So it ain't cheap to go to Disney, but they do come with previously announced perks like free digital photo downloads, the ab ability to visit some of these parks after 2 p.m. without a reservation. And prior to those perks, we had a lot of customers complaining about long wait times at the parks, high costs. Even CEO Bob Iger, before he returned to the company in November, had reportedly expressed concerns over the high prices at these theme parks. We know how important these parks are to the company's bottom line, hence the need to keep these customers happy. Revenue for the parks division that came in nearly $29 billion in fiscal 2022, a 73% year-over-year increase. We also saw operating income jumped 65% year over year last year. And we saw parks continue to flourish in the first quarter of 2023 as well. So we'll see if Disney can keep up this momentum. They do have several projects in the works for this year, like the upcoming debut of the Journey of Water exhibit. That's going to be at Epcot, inspired by Moana. They just debuted their Tron ride on Tuesday at Magic Kingdom. There's more character meet and greets, more experiences planned. So I think this is just another move that showcases how essential the parks are to Disney's strategy. And just in time for the summer, people could hop on these, you know, perfect timing indeed. And Ali, the parks announcement comes as Disney is also shaking up other areas of the business following its annual meeting of shareholders on Monday. So Ali, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, late Wednesday, Disney announced that there are going to be key leadership changes within its streaming division with Hulu president Joe Early becoming the new president of direct-to-consumer for Disney Entertainment effective immediately. He will take over the role from Michael Paul, who will be exiting the company after six years early. He's going to be overseeing all direct-to-consumer initiatives for Disney streaming services, which will include Disney Plus and Hulu. And when we heard from Bob Iger during that shareholder meeting on Monday. He said that streaming remained at the core of Disney's media strategy. He has emphasized that Disney Plus is on track to achieve profitability by the end of fiscal 2024. So this is going to be an important role. And it's just been an interesting journey to see how much has changed at Disney in the short time that Iger has stepped back into the CEO position. And I think you can expect even more changes like these leadership changes to come in the coming months and uh, weeks. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Ali Canal, thank you so much.